Nice. So what would you say are the most essential ML ops skills that data scientists should know anyway, even if they don't necessarily have to? Yeah, absolutely. So number one, reversion control. That right. is so, so important. I All of us have had that experience where uh, something goes wrong in Git and we just, we don't understand what's going on. It's, it's, you just, and you start stack overflowing, searching, and then you start like randomly copy pasting commands <laughs> into your terminal. Um, you know, that's just a nightmare thing. Uh, so I, I would highly recommend, uh, so MIT, they had this missing CS semester course or set of lectures. I have to say that had one of the best lectures I've, I've ever seen on understanding and grokking the spirit of Git and how it works and in specifically version control in general. I would say the missing CS course or semester uh, set of lectures that has a lot of the key skills that data scientists would need in order to be, uh, I would just say more effective. And I think that's the most important part is just like becoming more effective. So version control is a big part of that. Um, the second part is understanding uh, essentially Python packaging. Or, you know, if you're not using Python, you're using different language, understand the packaging mechanisms for your chosen language is very, very important. Um, third, containerization. I think that is something that, because at the end of the day, models do end up being code. So I think that is a crucial part of data scientists being more effective because now, for example, they're not just relying on vir virtual environments. They're not just relying on conda environments. Um, they understand ways that they can share, reproduce code. It's super important about that. Um, I would say then, I'll just give another two more. So we talked about version control. We talked about um, packaging. We talked about containerization. Yeah. Um, I would say the fourth part is understanding like the tools that are useful for templating their projects. So cookie cutter is an important one. Um, I would say like if people understand how to leverage it, then for example, if a data scientist wanted to create multiple projects and it's a very similar structure in organization, they could do that. They could set up cookie cutter to do that, to set up like a consistent project structure so that they're not like reinventing the wheel. That's cool. That's and really I would say tip. the, yeah, I, I, I love using that tool. Um, and then I would say the fifth one that's really kind of important is um, understanding at a high level how to leverage some of the cloud resources that we have. Right. So whether it's GCP, whether it's AWS, and I'm not saying become a cloud like practitioner extraordinaire, um, but understand that nowadays most models are they're going to end up being shared. You, you want them all to be shared, right? You want to develop software that other people like using. So understanding in your kind of chosen, you know, cloud vendor of choice was a minimum viable path to getting your model hosted and getting it shared so that you can either put like a streamlit app on it. You can create a mobile or web app. Those are super important. Any other skills after that, I'd say um, they are important, but those first five, definitely I've seen block a uh, junior data scientist and, and I've seen them really struggle with those concepts. Nice. I love it. That was such a great list, Mikiko. So number one is version control tools like Git. And we've got the MIT Missing Computer Science course, which I'll be sure to look up and include in the show notes. Number two is packaging of software libraries. Number three is containerization. Uh, four is templatization uh, with a tool like Cookie Cutter. Um, that is one that I need to brush up on of these five. And number five is familiarity with um, cloud uh platforms like AWS yep. and GCP. Oh, and the last one, and I think you had this author on your show at one point. Um, he wrote Data Science at the Command Line. The Command Line, awesome. yeah, that is an uh, that is an under underutilized tool. Um, what I found was that when I, for various projects where I need to set up data cleaning and processing pipelines, it was just so much faster to use a shell script so much faster than trying to import uh, pandas and like, you know, other kinds of libraries. Those were, were very, very slow for stuff that a lot of times could be solved through regex and through some kind of, um, you know, just smart shell usage. So yeah. I would say that that is the, the powerful skill right there. <laughs>